I handed an Uber driver $22 for a tip and he was in tears. I got back from my short vacation and needed a lift back home after coming back to town and got an Uber back to my apartment 20 minutes away. We get there and he sighs and waited a few seconds before exclaiming, man I'm done for the day. I'm beat. I asked him about how his other ride where and it turns out I was his first ride of the day and he was just so burnt out and tired and that he just wanted to go home and relax on his only day off. I handed him all the cash I had in my wallet left over from my trip. $22. And he immediately started getting choked up and started profusely thanking me. I tipped him an additional 10 off my card in hopes of making his day better. But what kind of world do we live in that $22 can make a grown man cry? It's outrageous we are all severely underpaid and work to the bone in most fields of work. This man probably had a family he should have been spending with in this Sunday. This country needs to do better. In 2011 I tipped a driver that was hired by the company through a local agency to drive me and my team for about 10 days. It was Dakar, Senegal. I would pay for his meals every day and coffee and stuff every day and just get them reimbursed. But at the end of the trip, I tip him something like $40 in France CFA. He cried. A 57 years old man. His name was Adama, as he was driving us for the last time the day after in the morning. He mentioned that his wife was very happy when he gave her the money. Because it was more than a month of rent. You never know until you know. Good on you for being mindful. Amazing gesture that at the very least made his day if not week or month. Damn. Wow. I drove Uber and Lyft for a number of years. I got $2.100 tips in that time. I was obviously very grateful. But I never cried. It sucks that this guy is in such a position. I've cried over being given $20 once. But I was unable to work and on disability. My rent on my trailer. $450 per mo. This was in 2013. Was paid directly by my payee. I received $200 in food stamps and got a check for $50 each week. $20 was a huge deal for me at the time. When I was driving for Uber in LA, I could drive for over two weeks straight every day and not get a single tip. So yeah not just a good tip. But any tip is rather rare these days. Marijuana delivery is legal where I am and a few years ago I placed an order. I lived in a pretty confusing app complex so I went out front and waited for the guy on the bench. By the street. He drove right past me and a min later called me asking what app I was in. I said. Oh you drove right past me I'm out front waiting on the bench. He pulls back around and I approach the car make the exchange and tip him $20. He said, you know paid me an extra $20? And extends it back to me. I replied, no man that's yours. You're doing me a huge favor. He didn't cry but I could see the thanks in his eyes. Turned out I was his only tip all day. I was like 19 in a restaurant with my dad where he was paying and after the meal he either had the cash denominations to give a great tip or a lousy tip. In the moment he chose a lousy tip. I was super embarrassed and actually went back a week later to give the guy another $5. Since then, having worked in service, I always think to myself, will tipping this server an extra 5 bucks to make the tip 35% hurt me? In any way? The answer is usually no. It was so hard to understand how Pops couldn't see that those extra few dollars meant the world to the recipient and meant mostly nothing to the customer. Keep doing what you're doing. The people who need it. Appreciate it. Many years ago, my dad was working in Kazakhstan. Establishing a new international airport. He was there for around a year. They were assigned a driver who worked for an agency and he looked after them for months. 
They got to know him pretty well and he shared that he has to pay fees to rent the vehicle from the firm he works for, and give them a percentage of his earnings. So he came out with little in the end so his wife would work at markets with their young children to get by. At the end of the trip my dad a and his then colleagues bought his vehicle and license for him so he could operate without these crippling costs and got him listed as a preferred vendor at their new airport. It cost them 500 pounds each and it changed his life entirely. He still thanks my dad to this day. His son just graduated college with an engineering degree and his daughter is studying teaching. They never would have had these opportunities before. Federal Reserve is a huge problem. Start your own local currency thumbs up. Just wondering why he'd be tired off only one ride. I know this is anti-work but still. Made it sound like you were the 30th person lol. Good job. World needs more people like you. This man probably had a family he should have been spending with in this Sunday. Quote. And if he had. You wouldn't have had a ride. How can you choose to order an Uber on a Sunday and then say the driver should have been home with his family? Do you not see the logical clash there? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.